What is up guys, Jeff Gaming here and welcome to the penultimate race of my Jules Bianchi season. This is the Brazilian Grand Prix and I can guarantee you now this is a absolutely fantastic race. It usually is around this track, unpredictable weather, uh, great track for racing so I'm hoping for a good one. We haven't scored too many points recently and we're kind of in no man's land in the driver's standing so... Yeah, we're hoping for a good performance to get some decent points. I just want the glory for Jules. It would be fantastic. And I feel like this is going to be a good track for us. And we should be fighting for probably the minor points. But we'll wait and see what happens. And we'll have a look here in qualifying. And actually, coming through the final corner, we're in P9. It's been a great lap. No mistakes. Felt pretty at home in the car around here. The setup felt pretty good as well. And we've got some decent straight line speed. And coming to the line... It looks like we're going to be P9. It's been P9 all the way. If we drop down now, then there's going to be some serious issues. But yeah, it's P9. Fantastic performance from Jules. Very happy with that lap. And we're in the top 10. We've beaten our rival Jensen Button. And yeah, only 1.2 off pole position, man. Lewis Hamilton. So that's a great performance there. Shows we're going to have some decent pace around here. Well, I hope we do. We've uh, got to translate this qualifying lap to race pace. Though I have tended to be quicker in the races than qualifying, that's just the type of driver I am. I'm just not great at the one lap pace. Looking further down, it's actually a standard grid. It, it's nearly the same grid every race apart from myself, which is a bit disappointing. But race day, totally sunny. There's no chance it's going to rain here, even in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And yeah, it's going to be a one stop, I think, looking at that. And starting on the options, so short run to turn one, let's see if we can get any cars and make our way through the points. And away we go. We get an okay get away, we've got a whole, no it's Button, Button's gone flying off the inside, but we've switched to the inside line to get a couple of positions back. Just had uh, over Agnes for heighting back, got back ahead of us, but we did take Button, let's see if we can get any cars down to here. Down to turn four is it? We're using the slipstream, we're probably going to go for a dive bomb because the AI for some reason don't defend the inside down here. We go up the inside of Raikkonen and we're going to push him out. Yes we are, we've made slight contact actually. That could have ended catastrophically with us spinning out but uh, up to wait, that was a very aggressive move. We've got nothing to lose really, we just want a great performance, get some more points on the board. We're quite far behind Alonso but we're going to go for the dive bomb. This is a classic overtaking place around this track for us. And Alonso's defending on the inside. Let's see if we can get him again. Could be another dive bomb, actually. He's going to leave the door open. So we go for it once again. This time, can we force him out wide? Or just cut across him? Yes, we can. We're no contact like we had with Raikkonen before. And that's been a very good start indeed. Let's go. Uh, come through Zhengxiao now. And compare our straight line speed. We've got a Ferrari behind us. And we've got Ricardo ahead of us. Up to Rich Mix. And... Yeah, there's not really any battling, there's a bit of a gap ahead and a bit of a gap behind, but that's been a very, sol uh, very solid first lap, very happy with that, and it's looking promising for the rest of the race. We're going to go on to lap 4 here. We did drop back slightly from Ricardo, not too much, a big lock up there to turn 1, but we did make the corner. But Alonso does seem to have better uh, race pace than us after the uh, initial... Uh, laps on these tyres and he's going to go for the move. DRS has been enabled of course and is he going to go for it around the other side? We just leave enough room. I do have a tendency to cut across the AI there and I think he, we're still fighting side by side. He's going to have the inside line up here so I think we might have to hang around the outside. Can we do that? This is going to be so close. It's not an easy opportunity, not an easy overtake to make. We keep it on the track. Whoa! <laughs> Alonso, he's like a torpedo. Flying down the inside, making contact. Oh, we've made slight contact once again. You can see the wheel just being worked very aggressively. And Alonso's actually got past us. That was an amazing battle there. A little bit of contact, but uh, no no broken wings or anything. And Alonso did pull away, which was a shame. Our tyres are really going off. We're struggling at this point. We've got Button, our rival on our tail. Is he going to go for it? He outbreaks us down then. Raikkonen's on his tail, and Raikkonen's actually got past Jensen there, so... We're fighting with a Ferrari once again, and we're really struggling on these tyres. A few cars have actually come into the pit, so I'm thinking, are they too stopping? Um, but I just couldn't cope with these option tyres anymore. Had to come into the pits. I was losing so much time to the likes of Ricardo and Alonso. And yeah, we will get the undercut as Perez pits with us, but we might struggle later on in the race. I'm not sure if this is actually a two-stop race. They are pitted very early in some cases so it's going to be interesting to see the strategy the uh, strategy calls later on and we come out just ahead of Perez 
he must have had a quick stop there, he gained a little bit of time, so there's not too many cars that have pitted actually because we're down in 15. But hopefully we don't have any traffic, I can see a few cars come around the center S now. There's Magnussen, Magnussen's actually got the undercut on us, so that's a strange one, I didn't expect that. And we do have a bit of traffic, Marcus Ericsson in the cage room. But if we get close enough here and get our tyres up to temperature, we should go for a move. Yes we do, we've got a great run there. Using the slipstream, which way are we going to go left? No, we have to go right. There's Ericsson, I think he's kind of moving out the way we easily overtake the cage room. And now we can chase after Magnussen, who is stuck behind, who is that? Pastor Maldonado who I'm going to presume hasn't pitted yet, so this is really helping me out. Thank you, Pasta, you great man. And he's still holding him up for us, so I don't know what Magnuson's strategy is. Did he pit a lap before? Damn. Actually, it's on option tyres. that He has to pit again. So yes, the AI that pitted very early must be going for a two-stop strategy. And I pitted a lap after them. Um, yeah, that's filling me with a little bit of concern. Will these primes last to the end? Because if not, I might as well make a pit stop around lap 12, 13 to go into the options, but I've got a one stop as Maldonado goes into the pits. Magnussen, this should be a simple move really. Uh, DRS is very OP around this track because the slipstream effect is really strong as well because you could overtake around this track before DRS and the DRS just made it too overpowered at times, but yeah, in terms of strategy, I think we're going to... We're going to have to go for a one stop because if we two stop, we're just going to end up outside the points, I think, as uh, Magnuson tries to come back. No, we cover the line and we're in 50. And I think the 14 cars ahead of us are one stopping based on the air time they're pitting. On lap 9, there's a few cars coming out of the pits and I think these are the front runners we're actually battling against. I'm not sure if that was a McLaren on the left. I think it is a button. I think Alonso's coming out the pits as well. Yes, he is. This is going to be so close, actually. We've got Magnus on our right. We're switching across. What a great tactical move that was because Alonso blocked Magnus from overtaking us with DRS. That was brilliant driving for myself. I've got to say that if we stayed on the right, we would have got blocked off. Magnussen probably would have got past us as well. Alonso would have stayed ahead. But no, we switched to the inside, got them both, and just held them back. And now we're up to P10. Grosjean ahead of us hasn't pit yet. And I think there's more cars in the pits. Let's see if this uh, affects our genuine position. I haven't seen Raikkonen, who we were battling with earlier on. And Magnussen's actually going for moving to turn one. He's outbroken us. Actually, that's a brilliant move. He is on the option tires, which is helping him out. And we've got a couple of cars behind us, Alonso and I think it's Button. And is that, I think Raikkonen's coming out the pit. Yes, he is, and he's going to be part of this battle. This is an amazing battle for P8 at the moment, which could turn to P7. Oh, we've gone wide there, actually. We've outbroken ourselves, but we haven't lost too much ground, but Alonso's going to get past us. But can we fight back like we did before against Alonso? Oh, he's so slow, though. We're pushing him through the corner. Come on. Move it! Get after the car's ahead! Dive bomb up the inside! Oh, that contact was pretty scary. I thought we were going to spin out. And oh, Alonso's moved across us. He's trying to get us back for the contact a few seconds before. And he's braked! He brake bra checked me! What the hell is going on, Fernando? I swear this always happens with Fernando when we have these uh, strange battles with a bit of contact. I I'm sure he broke. Ch What's the word for that? Brake checked me! That doesn't sound England at all to me. Uh, English I'm obviously meant I'm just messing about them <laughs> back to the race and not speaking by English Magnuson's into the pits making his second and final stop Alonso is ahead of us we got Button just behind us who is all over the back of us and behind him should be Raikkonen so as I was saying before this is an epic battle for seventh position between the two I don't think Magnuson's in this so it's gonna be the two Ferraris myself and Button as Button goes up our inside is he gonna get it? I'm gonna fight this. We are so close there. We made slight contact. The hand of doom came up, and we're challenging the McLarens in this standings. So it's important we finish ahead of them. And there's a Williams that's just come out the pits up the inside of Button. Can we retake it position? I think we can. Is Raikkonen gonna follow me through? He does indeed. And that Bottas, uh, that's Bottas ahead of us. I think he must have two stopped. Because he was quite far up the field, and if we go up to uh, get close enough to him, he should be on the prime tyre. So that that just shows the two stop does not work here, especially in a 25% race. It makes no sense at all. But P8 
Bottas has overtaken Alonso. I don't think we have the pace to fight Alonso unless he has contact or something. But uh, right on our tail, once again, it's a Ferrari and it's Raikkonen. He has button all over him as well. This three-way battle is so intense and finely poised. Who is going to get this safe position? But Raikkonen's fighting back. He's got a better exit there. Of course, I did pit, uh, I think, two laps earlier than these guys. And for in Raikkonen's case, three laps. So we are struggling at this point. And uh, can we keep Raikkonen behind us? He's still there. He's trying to go for that move that we went for before. We cut across him, actually. Good defence there. Trying to defend our four points. And Magnussen and Raikkonen are side by side looking in my mirror. Just look in the right mirror. Them two are going to hold each other up if they keep going side by side. And that could seriously help us out. And on to lap 17 here. Into turn one. Them two are still side by side. So they couldn't go for the move on me. And they're seriously going to hold each other up through the centre S. Look in the mirror once again. Yes they do. We've got a buffer now. We've got some breathing space. And that should help us. And hopefully we can consolidate 8th position in this race. Oh, I'm losing my breath. This has been an intense battle. But Raikkonen did uh, catch back up to us. So he's going to get DRS. This is the final lap. This is the final DRS zone. Can he get the move? I don't know where Magnussen's gone. Or Button. Whichever McLaren. I just want to beat them all. Can we force Raikkonen out wide? He got on the curb a little bit. So couldn't fight back. And we've defended it now. So we should defend it through the middle sector. The problem will be... After Zhang Xiao, the final corner, the long run to the finishing line. And we're a little bit close on fuel, so I've gone down to lean just so we can run Rich Mix for the final. Uh, it's one of them curvy straights, isn't it? I do tend to say curvy straight a little bit. There's a yellow flag. I don't know if something's going on ahead of us. There seems to be a slow car on the minimap. It's a Sauber. That's a back marker. And oh, he's going to make us understeer. I think, please hold us up. Uh, not us up. Hold right enough. And if you look ahead of us, Bottas has dropped back, Alonso. So Gutierrez might have made contact with Bottas. Gutierrez has seriously held up Raikkonen as well, so we have no pressure coming to the line. Oh god, that was intense, and you can see how happy I am. That's only 8th position, but it felt fantastic. It was such an exciting race, and that is the best race so far. But I'm going to reveal a secret right now. The finale in Abu Dhabi. I've already recorded it. It is even better than this. So look forward to that. And just give me a like to show your support for that race. That was fantastic. Loved it so much. And there's the results. Hamilton once again beats Rosberg. I do wonder what the gap is between them and the driver standings now. It must be incredibly close. We finished in 8th. Alonso up in 6th. Yeah, I feel like we might have been able to get six, but yeah, maybe a bit too ambitious. There's the rest of the field. What a race that was. I'm actually sweating from this commentary. There's the driver standings. Oh my god, it's one point at the top. It's going all the way to Abu Dhabi. That's going to be so exciting. We have an 18-point lead over Button, so it's going to take a monumental change for him to beat us. So I think we should finish in ninth place. Constructors, it's tense between us and McLaren. Very close. Can we beat them to fifth place? So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see the finale in Abu Dhabi, I recommend it. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.